Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. All right, I was asked this question, so I'm going to go ahead and answer this question. When it comes to my feelings on the on the show ring, because it came up with the discussion earlier, I will tell you guys this. Um, a lot of people are getting a lot of clout nowadays for going in the show ring and getting wins. And it's not for me to talk bad about those people. It's not for me to um, down those people in any way because you, you, you show how you have to show and you do what you have to do. It's that simple, you know what I mean? So if the show ring is uh, very suspect, if the dogs in the ring are very, very suspect and the judges are willing to give suspect dogs uh, ribbons and different things like that, there's nothing you can do about that. So the people, so I'm not saying that people who are showing, you know, it's their fault. It's just, this is the, this is the environment that has been created for the American bully now. But at the same time, we do have to look at it and understand that it's a lesser environment. It's not a great environment to have American bullies that are walking around the ring that are hobbling dogs with rear, uh, rear ends higher than their motherfucking head. We see the very, very stiff rear ends. We see the narrow asses. We see these things. We see a lot of flaws and a lot of issues in the ring on dogs that are winning and winning at a high rate. Now, this, once again, does not say that there are dogs like Hangman. I really liked Hangman. Um, you know, from everything I've seen from the dog, I, I really like that dog. But you can't point out one dog when the ABKC is registering, you know, 100 fucking thousand do uh, dogs every year. You know, it, the, the the masses of what we see is not very good quality dogs. And this is why it's an argument. This is not a made up argument. Even the dogs that look nice have breathing issues, uh, heart issues and other issues. So how are we calling ourselves master handlers and showers and all these different things? If the dogs are not confirmationally sound and the dogs aren't, uh, Aren't, aren't healthy. In my opinion, if your dog has a heart murmur, if your dog has had to have surgery to correct his breathing, that disqualifies that dog from being a champion. How the fuck can the dog be considered a champion if the dog needs surgeries or has abnormalities that will cause a, you know, a, a, a shortness of life? We have dropped the standards in this breed so low that it's ridiculous. This shit does not go on in other breeds at this level. It's really considered to be asinine. I can't go other places and literally like I'm looking into another breed of dog right now. And the amount of shit that I got to do just to appease the breeder that I'm getting the, the dog from to be able to breed the dog in the future. It's refreshing, but it's work. You know what I mean? I have to go to appraisals. I have to get the dog to the veterinarian at least three different times. X-rays are involved. DNA testing is involved. Um... Uh, you know, some some other testing is involved to make sure that the dog is not prone to certain things to pass down certain things uh, throughout the genetics. And I mean, and I think it's very, very refreshing because after the dog passes all these tests, I know I got an A1 product. We are not seeing that in the American bully community and we damn sure aren't seeing that in the, in the show ring. I, I know I made the video earlier uh, about the two gentlemen having their discussion, and maybe this is a continuation of it. But the truth of the matter is, is that the ABKC show ring and several other show rings are subpar as fuck. I see the dogs that are in there, and many of those dogs, just flat out, plain and simple, are not show dogs. I've talked to respectable judges, and we all agree with the same thing. The only problem is, is that institutions don't want to kick these dogs out of the ring because they don't want to lose the money. You have to be able to tell these people, go home. Your dogs, this is not a good representation. You have to come back with something better. Right now, we are putting, you know, dogs that probably would rate a five or a six in the ring and represent, or excuse me, representing them as championship level dogs. And the whole world is seeing this. You know what I mean? So as the whole world sees this, you are building a new generation of breeders, a new generation of dog men and women who believe that if I can make a, something close to this subpar dog, I can brag about it. If I can pick the right show where it's not enough dogs at and I can collect enough points and I can call my dog a champion, it makes me special. It does not make you special. It makes you just as useless if you never had that championship title. Because, and, and not to brag too much, but when I won championships, I beat quality dogs.
You know what I mean? It was high quality dogs in the ring. And if it wasn't, I, I really didn't care to show. I'm a competitor. I'm not someone who just wants a label or a tag or some shit. I'm an actual competitor. This is why I do what I do. I'm speaking for myself now. You know, no matter what these cocksuckers can try to tell you about me, do your own math. You've never seen any of my dogs bred to Miyagi stuff. You've never seen me go and try to breed my dog straight to Dak stuff because thousands of people want to try to redo what Bashar did. You know what I mean? I would turn that shit down based off of the dogs needing to be healthy for the betterment of the breed. I turned down ten thousands of this. You know what I mean? So many of you were around when I was offered one hundred twenty thousand dollars for 10% of my registry just to, you know, just to get everything rolling and this, that. And that was a nice investment. But the reason the deal fell, fell apart is because I refused to deal with exotics. I stand on principle. I stand on quality. No matter what you can say, no matter how you divert the conversation. And that's what it ha always has been, a lot of diversion. If you are not breeding quality, if you are not breeding health, if you are not trying to make the perfect animal, you are a shit breeder. Now, you can be a pet owner of anything, but if you are not trying to make the perfect, healthy animal, properly tested, great confirmation, and we all know what the standard actually is, and hopefully they start enforcing it sometime this century, that if you're not doing these things, you are not helping the American bully breed, you're not helping the Frenchies, you're not helping the English, or anything else that you get your hands on. It's that simple. It's not about the people. Stop looking up to these so-called big-time breeders. No, that's a promotion. What, what part of that don't y'all understand? Motherfuckers who kiss enough ass at a registry, show enough dogs, put enough dogs in the ring, now they believe that they're some kind of celebrity because they've upped the numbers, they made enough friends, and now, oh, look at me, look at me. No, show me your legacy. And if your legacy includes bad confirmation, unhealthy dogs, if, you can pinpoint, if I can pinpoint that in your hookup, you ain't shit. It don't matter how many ribbons they gave you. It don't matter how many times they put you on a banner in some cases. It don't matter how many times you do a podcast or whatever. Let's spit facts. If you can't make a healthy, good confirmation animal, then you suck. If you've always got to explain why your dogs are dying, why your dogs are breathing bad, why this, why that, why this, why that, and, this, and you're... And you're directly connected to health issues with many dogs throughout the breed and this becomes your legacy you are a shit breeder you have done nothing but hurt the breed let's just get that shit out the way to young breeders come in this bitch and make the situation better not worse because a lot of the people that y'all look up to some of the people i don't even know these people are not contributing to this breed in a good fashion they're fucking the breed up and because you are oh they are judge such and such they handle this many dogs oh that's the girl that owns this that's the fuck that get down to the facts have you health tested this animal? Let me see your dog move. Does your dog have great movement? If you're new to this, find out what great movement is. Find out what great structure is. Do you have this DNA tested? Do you have that? Let's start making the breed better again. Not people patting themselves on the back and thinking that they're some kind of celebrity because they put a lot of bullshit out there and a lot of people know them. Trust me, a lot of people know a lot of things and it's not all good and it doesn't make you great because people know about you. But until next time, y'all, God bless y'all. Much love. Peace.